A brand new flagship BMW sedan doesn't come around very often, but I'm at a studio in New York City where BMW has finally revealed the all new 7 Series. So let's take a first look. So for the last 50 years, the BMW 7 Series has represented the pinnacle of BMW in terms of luxury, technology, and of course, design. That tradition continues for 2023, you can see, with the all new version. This is definitely a polarizing design. For those of you who have criticized BMW in the past for all their cars looking the same, you certainly can't do that anymore because this one here is the electric version. This is called the i7, which means it has the same powertrain out of the iX. There's also a gas-powered version, the 760i MX Drive, which is a V8-powered model. But let's go ahead and talk about the design of the i7 because check out the grill. First of all, BMW has been doing a lot with their kidney grills. This grill has gotten larger over, year, over the years. BMW has actually included an LED signature that kind of outlines the grill. The headlights, you can see, have a new design language where they're kind of divorced from the actual daytime running light. They just showed this on the new refreshed X7. You can see it's proudly displayed on the uh, i7 over here. We have the LED daytime running light and turn signal here, LED low and high beams. These are, of course, BMW's laser headlight technology. The grill on this model here has active grill shutters. I'm surprised it even has a grill considering this is the all-electric version, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the design. It certainly looks super polarizing. Now, underneath the hood, there is no front, but this one here being the uh, uh, electric version, it does include the same powertrain out of the iX, so it has up to 536 horsepower, dual electric motors. BMW says it should be able to go around 300 miles on a full charge. This is known as the i7 xDrive 60i. Now, follow me over to the side of the vehicle. You can see this model here has some 20-inch wheels. You can also get a larger 21-inch wheel if you'd like. And I don't have specific dimensions just yet for the car, uh, but remember, this is going to be their flagship vehicle, so it's a long wheelbase model. The old one was, was like around 207 inches long, so I suspect this should be uh, pretty similar. But I do want to talk about the rear of the vehicle. Uh, if you want to follow me over to the rear. Now you can see the rear design of the car definitely looks interesting. Now it's got BMW has been kind of going toward a trend of skinnier taillights. There's also this kind of chrome strip that goes along the taillights. It creates kind of a three-dimensional look. And the badging in here is pretty minimalistic. You can see you've got a blue outlined BMW badge. There's an i7 badge. I'm surprised I don't see any more badging like to signify this is the xDrive 60i. Uh, but you can see the vehicle almost looks a little tall. I kind of wish it had a, an integrated spoiler here. The rear trunk lid kind of creates the effect of a spoiler. I'm assuming that has to do with the aerodynamics. You guys are also probably wondering. I'm going to open, open the trunk capacity and show you guys what that looks like. You can see... I don't have specific numbers just yet, but this is their flagship sedan. You can see there's a ton of space in here. There is a pass through to let uh, longer items get through. And then there's also a pretty deep under four storage area. So you can hide a couple of things over here. Now changing gears, I wanna show you guys a little bit more closely on the gas powered model. This is a 760i with xDrive, which means you have a four liter or 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 developing around 536 horsepower. Because it's xDrive, it has all wheel drive. It has an eight speed automatic transmission. BMW says this model here uh, should be the volume selling model. They also will offer a six cylinder option with around 375 horsepower. That has the updated three liter twin scroll turbo six cylinder uh, developing around 30 to 40 more horsepower versus the uh, previous generation. But I also I also want to point out the grill differences on this gas powered model. Unlike the electric version, you can see there's some black accents here underneath the headlight. The running light also has a different look to it. You can see it's got a slimmer uh, LED. The grill also is a little bit larger here because it's black painted. And you can see the headlights down here. You have some functional vents here. Overall, let me know what you think if you prefer the way the electric one looks with the more body colored elements or uh, this gas powered one with a lot of the black accents. I'm kind of torn. I think that seeing it on a sedan for the first time is a little bit polarizing for me, but I imagine a BMW will offer several different colors, several different trims. An M version will be coming later uh, with some more M badges to give this car a little bit more of a distinctive look. All right, guys, so welcome to the inside of the completely redesigned BMW 7 Series. I have to say, BMW has really been killing it in terms of their interior for technology, for premium features, for a lot of the just premium ambiance that you get here. And this car certainly is no exception. This is the gas model here, and you can see the entire front or front area is dominated by their new iDrive 8.0. It's got basically two screens that form, that form a curved display. It also has their gesture controls. You have a 12-inch display in front of you, a 15-inch display over here to the side. And BMW has taken a couple of tech features from Rolls-Royce because if I wanted to get, once I get into this car, there's a button that I could push here on the side, right by the door, and you can see the door automatically closes for me. It also automatically will open for me, uh, which is a really great touch because again, this is their flagship vehicle. You can't be bothered to cl close the doors. There's also a couple of new features in here like extra glass controls that I'm seeing, the Bowers and Wilkins stereo. And then you can see along the lower strip of the dash here, there's what BMW calls an interactive light. So when you start using your BMW commands in here, that light will kind of flash back and show that it's interactive 
interacting with you that it understands what you're trying to uh, explain to the vehicle. Uh, it's a really cool feature. The lighting in this car is what you know everybody's all about nowadays with these flagship sedans and the theatrics. You can see over here on the center console, you have the glass controls for the iDrive 8.0. You can also use it as a touchscreen. The screen itself is super responsive. I mean, this is the new system they introduced on the i4 and the iX. It's a beautiful looking screen. And BMW, again, was criticized for their interior starting to look older. And they definitely have started to change that. I'm also noticing a couple things here. The cup holders have a really interesting design. You can see they're individual. There's these sliding things, uh, covers that cover them up. You have a wireless phone charging pad. Your gear selector is over here. Lots of beautiful padded quilted leather. The seats, of course, are going to be heated, massaged, and cooling. But really, the magic happens when you get into the back seat because BMW has introduced this new theater screen for rear seat passengers. And I have to show you guys that. All right, guys, so welcome to the back seat of the brand new 7 Series. I've actually moved over to the electric i7 because this is the car that has the showstopper. This is the theater screen. It's a 31-inch screen that's 31 inches across. It's an 8K resolution. You can see it's also a touch screen. You can also use the remote control on the door panels to actually control it. This here is amazing. I've never seen anything like this, and it's great that BMW is introducing this technology. It has built-in streaming stuff like you can stream uh, Amazon Fire TV. You can stream Prime, you can stream Netflix. So this right here basically takes your living room into your back seat. And then the rest of the back seat, you can see there's a ton of space in here. There's the beautiful quilted leather, the beautiful metal materials, even the carpet in this vehicle, the floor mats almost looks like they've been pulled from a Rolls Royce because this is the really soft plush floor mats. I'm not entirely sure these are the full lambs wool floor mats, but you can see there's even like a built-in footrest here. But really what's cool about this back seat is not only the screen, there are uh, screens on the side of the door panels where you can control the screen. You can adjust all your different climate information or just use the touch screen here. But this is really going to be probably a huge selling feature. I don't have pricing on just this yet, but I cannot wait to actually try this vehicle out and watch some really uh, great movies back here. So it's pretty clear that BMW has pulled out all the stops for the completely redesigned 7th generation 7 series. Both the gas powered version and the i7 will be coming to market by the end of this year. They're saying around November and BMW actually already announced pricing. The base version of the 7 series, the old one was like around $87,000. The base 740i now starts at around $93,300. That's before the destination charge. If you guys want the electric version, the electric version is going to add roughly about $25,000 extra. So around 119 grand. This V8 model here starts at around $100 and $13,000. So again, this is certainly not cheap, but as you guys saw with the level of luxury, the level of technology, the performance that BMW is going to have, this should be one of the top offerings in the flagship luxury sedan. It's going to go head to head with the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class, which I've driven plenty of times. It's a fantastic vehicle and I can't wait to get behind the wheel of the all new 7 Series. With all that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed my first look overview on the brand new 2023 BMW 760 and the i7. If you're also looking to see the latest cars I'm testing, be sure to follow me on Instagram at redline underscore reviews, like us on Facebook, and as always guys, please keep subscribing to the Redline Reviews YouTube channel for all the latest reviews. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.